a mess. Yeah. Okay. So when do you think it was dumped, Miss Percyfield? It must have been overnight. I came out this morning and there it was when I collected the milk. So it wasn't here before you went to bed? Well, I'd have called you if it had been. Just so fortunate that you were in the area today for our neighbourhood watch meeting. Very fortunate. Have you got any idea who did it? I don't want to say. I don't want to get her into trouble. Get who into trouble? Maybe I should just forget about it. I don't think there's anything to worry about. I think it was my next door neighbour, Gina Lomax. Gina Lomax, okay. Oh, now I feel dreadful for saying anything. What makes you think it was her? Well, I've tried to get on, I've tried to be neighbourly, but all I get is back chat. And some of her language to me is quite unrepeatable. I see. She's the only person I can think of who would do this, Sergeant. Right, well, I'll have a word. Thank you so much. Um, what, what should I do? Should I do about all this? It's just best to leave this now, please. Oh, evidence, of course. <laughs> Think about it. No, I've got a clue. I'll do Paul Newman in HUD. Oh, right. Yeah. What? Yeah, we had to do impressions. Oh. We had fine wines, witty conversation. Oh, it was a brilliant evening. Should have been there, Karen. Well, wasn't invited. Oh, maybe next time. Yeah. Do you know, Barry knew that I was Paul Newman immediately. Barry was there? Yeah. We were an unbeatable team in the board games. Board games? Mm. Oh. See what I missed? What do you want? Oh, hello to you too, Gina. Oh, I'm coming down to the cop shop later, can't it wait? It'll only take a minute. Oh, it never does though, does it? Come on. So, what have I done this time then? Bullion robbery, organ smuggling ring. Did you dump rubbish on next door's front garden? Did I what? Uh, why would I do that? If I break the law, then I'm straight back inside again, aren't I? How do you get on with Miss Percyfield? Oh, so she said I did it. I'm saying that I'm going to be asking all the neighbours. Well, I thought we got on OK. I don't have much to do with her, she doesn't have much to do with me. No run-ins, no name-calling. Oh, please, would you give me a break? Do you know what? I make one mistake. <laughs> a few mistakes, then I'm first on your list for anything that happens. Well, you're first on my list if you live next door. Did you do it? Look. I've got a job interview this afternoon at Rackley's. I'm not going to mess that up, am I? Good for you. Mm. I'm impressed. I hope you've been straight with me, Gina. Do you know what? If I was going to go back inside, it'd be for more than fly tipping. I'd burn a shed down or something. Mm, nice. Reassuring to know that. So if that's all... For now. Now Flynn goes do it, eh? Sorry? The standing on one leg thing. Why do they do that? If you ask me, it seems stupid. What do you think, Anorak man? Look, I'm really sorry. I'm going to have to ask you to move. How can I move? I haven't got my shoe on. So put your shoe on, then. You're all heart, you are. I bet you're a doctor, eh? Wow, yeah. it's like you're psychic or something. How do you cope with people coughing over you all day? That would do my head in. I'd have a rule where only healthy people could come and see me. Go on, what's wrong with your foot? How should I know? I didn't swim around medical school for seven years, had I? Well, she's lying. That may be so, but it's still her word against yours. Well, this is most worrying. Now she's going to be angry that you've gone round and she'll know it was me. I've made things worse, much worse. Calm down. I don't think Gina wants any trouble with you or anybody else. But she's got a record, hasn't she? Yep, yeah, ex-con. That's all there is to me, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. 
Gina, go back inside, please. No, not if she's bad mouthing me. I've got a right to stick up for myself. I'm only saying what I read in the papers. Oh, well, it must be true then. Look, I'm not going to do anything. It's lot of watching me like hawks, OK? OK. Right. Now, everyone, get off my case. Oh! If you haven't been here, it doesn't bear thinking about. It's obvious she did it, isn't it, Sergeant? What is it, Doc? Yeah, I'm going to need to take a look at you inside, I think. Oh, really? Surely a couple of pills and I could be on my way. Don't want to come in for a sore foot and leave with a lobotomy. <laughs> yeah, well, that really happens nowadays, so come on, I'll help you. If you thought I'd drawn the short straw with the neighbourhood watch thing, you should see me now. Oh, ha ha, yeah, very funny. Yeah. OK, got to go. How's it going, Sergeant? I do need to tell you that even if I do find something that links Gina to all of this, then it is still only circumstantial evidence. So? It might be her rubbish, but it doesn't mean she put it there. But it might be enough to push her into admitting it, mightn't it? I don't mean to be uncharitable, but this neighbourhood has gone downhill. And I think what it was like when my parents were alive. They'd never have had rubbish strewn all over the place. No. And so far, I haven't found anything with Gina's name or address on it. Surely that's not an end to it. Well... well you, you can't leave me in this limbo. What if she wants revenge? You heard what she said. I, I don't think she wants any trouble. But you don't know. Everything right? Valerie, everything all right? It's my chemo. Yeah? It hasn't worked. This again. Come on. Even though this chemotherapy hasn't worked, there will be other treatment options. Okay, and you will be in control of how things proceed. Well, how I die, you mean? No, of how you're treated. Oh, yeah, but it's all just clutching at straws, isn't it? Faith healers and people who put crystals on your body. It's... No, this is the end. It's... Nothing's going to work. All depends on your diagnosis. What does your consultant say? Well, I haven't actually been... Well, you have spoken to him, haven't you? No. But I have read things on the internet. Valerie... No, proper sites, cancer blogs, from patients who've been through this, been through what I'm going through, and I have noticed some patterns. No, you can't believe everything that you read. Well, from what I've read, it seems that the iller you are with your chemo, the greater your chances of survival. And I wasn't that ill at all with my last session. Not at all. Well, I understand that you're worried. But different people react to treatments differently. And there are different forms of chemotherapy. So you really can't read anything into it. You don't know everything about it. Valerie, you must talk to your consultant. It's not work, Daniel. I can feel it. Just have a look, see if any of them are yours. Seriously, how many more times? One. Hang on. Chicken jar frazzy, Italian meatballs, chili con carne. Ring any bells? Hardly. I'm vegetarian. The inside of your fridge doesn't prove anything. I oh, will check my custody record then. I might. Oh, come on. The silly cow probably did it herself. Why would she do that? Because she wants to get rid of me, doesn't she? He's been drinking. Yeah, but look, he's not drunk and I still need to check him over. Maybe if you fit him in as a temporary patient or something. What's his name? Name? Vernon Holiday. <laughs> nice to meet you, love. Right, we just need you to fill in a few details, OK? Oh. 
Dress could be tricky. Right, you're gonna need an address. Have you got anywhere you could put? I could put my girlfriends. And is that where you're staying now? No. I haven't lived there for about eight months since she'd been me. Right, well, the, uh, the sooner you fill in the form, the sooner I can see you. Does he always neck you like this? Huh. Ah. Did you make an arrest? I'm not even sure that Gina's responsible. Well, then how did it get here? You saw how she was with me. Yeah, well, maybe she was like that because she's been accused of something she hasn't done. I don't have any enemies. It must be her. Yeah, well, to take it any further, I'll need some more, I'm afraid. Oh, well, maybe the Chief Inspector would be more sympathetic. This day just keeps on getting better. Oh, wait a minute. Leave that. Leave that. Leave that. I can do that. Leave it, please. Well, leave well, well. Look at this. Very interesting. This rubbish is very familiar. What? Do you know what I think? I think that Gina likes living here. So why would she jeopardise that by putting rubbish all over your garden? She's got nothing to gain, but you, on the other hand. Would you want that sort of person living next door to you? I think you did it yourself so you could try and get rid of her. Why do you always mollycoddle the criminal? It's decent people like me who suffer. It's just not fair. Miss Percyfield, did you put your own rubbish on your own garden? You have no proof for these accusations? No, not at the moment. It's all circumstantial evidence. But if I can find a proper witness, then I will arrest you. We don't need everyone to hear. You thought it was going to be a simple plan, didn't you? That we would automatically believe you and not Gina. I am saying nothing more. Good. Try and get on with your neighbours, Miss Percyfield. Well, it's a fungal infection. If you feed it damp and uh, they're not cleaned regularly, then it could provide the ideal conditions for it to develop. Hmm. Men. It's just like mad, dog. Um, this is all I could find. Uh, hang on a minute. You haven't got any clean clothes out there, have you? I'm not got one. Uh, you're going to need to wash your feet, dry them thoroughly, and then put the fresh socks on. You can use our shower. I'm prescribing an antifungal cream. Mm. That'd be easier when I'm around my girlfriends. When do you think that'll be? It's hard to say, really. It's not going too great, to be honest. I've been back for about three weeks. Just haven't had the guts to go around yet. Truth is, I worry I haven't got much to offer, have I? She's not going to want a homeless drunk. Even one with six GCSEs and a winning smile. I can put you back in touch with rehab, they can help. <laughs> no, I don't need any help with drinking. I'm really good at that on my own. Very funny. Um, look, you seem sober. Why don't you get yourself around to your girlfriend? Really? I prefer to think about things, put them off, and think about them again in a sort of cycle. Maybe do something differently today. Yeah. Okay. Why not? Could pass me some added note paper, please. This is karma. What, me, having to do everything myself? No, karma with my bucket list. I've done everything on it, so... Now it's time to die. Can you not just add a couple more things? That doesn't really work like that. Now, the fact is, Karen, you can't cheat death. Can I help? Oh, you could have done me back if you were five minutes earlier. Mind you, nice to know that the NHS offers that service. Uh, sorry, the shower's are for patient's use. Sorry, he's, uh, he's with me. Uh, of course he is. All set? Yep. Wish me luck in winning a back, Doc. Hope it goes well. Mm. Here, girls like flowers, don't they? I wish I could buy her some. A bunch of nice ones might help swing the deal. Set me on the straight and narrow. But I, I shouldn't be doing this, OK? Cheers, Doc. Flowers, remember? Yeah. Uh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh. oh. If you raise your voice at me, I'll call the police. Oh, come on. Once a day is enough, surely. I didn't say your name to the sergeant. He mentioned your name and... and, and... Forget it. What do you want? Peace. Look, I'm trying to turn things around here. I've just been for a job interview and I've got to go to the cop shop later for my reporting. Reporting? Yeah, it's... Look, just... Just know that I'm trying my best, OK? OK. OK. Mrs. Hollins, I uh, just dropped by to see how Valerie was faring today. Oh, she isn't here. I've just sent her off to lunch. Oh. Did she uh, mention a destination? Hmm. She's not answering her mobile phone. Never mind. I can try a few of her regular haunts. Surprised you weren't there on Friday, Mrs. Hollins. It was a great night. Oh, speak of the devil. Hello, ladies. Oh, hello. Have you not uh, down in the dumps from your defeat? We survived. Oh, close game, though, eh? How about a rematch this Friday? Oh, I don't think I could cope losing again. <laughs> and I've got to see a friend in hospital. Oh, that's a shame. Right, well, we're just off for some lunch. Yep. I, I would join you, but uh, I'm off to look for her ladyship. That for masculine intuition, eh? I guess you might be here. Well, he's the uh, third guess, actually. You okay? Not really. Well, uh, some days are bound to be easier than others. That's very sweet of you, but it's a bit more than that. My chemo hasn't worked. When did you find this out? Today. It just needs to be confirmed. Well, there's still some hope then. No, there isn't. I'm so sorry. <clears throat> but, um, but please, don't give up. My mate Ronnie lost two toes and still ran the London Marathon. That isn't the same. Mm. The principle's the same. You don't give up. You won't be as bad as you think. Oh, I know it won't. You'll beat this, Valerie Pittman. Visitor. I've got to be at the police station for three. Oh. Well, can I help you? Well, you were right. I should make an effort, more of an effort. I'm going to the supermarket. I could drop you off on the way. It's OK, thanks. Would you, you've only got ten minutes. Let me, please, make me feel 
so much better about the whole business. Peace offering. Oh, OK, thank you. Oh, pop in. I look forward to seeing you. You! You know nothing! Oh, why don't you get yourself over there? Should I call the police? No, it's OK. OK. This place stinks! Vernon! Vernon, what happened to your head? Nothing. What happened to your head? What do you care? You're gonna need to calm down, OK? You ruined it! Oh. You ruined it! I had hoped before, thinking that one day I'd be back with my Gina. But you! No, I've had enough. OK. It was your little project for the day, wasn't I? So you could put something back into the community. Feel good, do you? Police, please. One bit of bad luck. And this. And this. Can be you. You're the worst kind! The worst! Why do I bother? I thought we could wait here a while. What are you doing? Keeping you here until you miss your appointment. Oh! Oh, this is ridiculous. What happens if you're not there on time? Move the car. Fine, I'll get out the back way. The joy of child locks. <laughs> oh, let me out right now. Or what? You thump me in the face. Well, don't push it, Cynthia. Oh, these are your real colours. You can't control it now, can oh, you? Let me out. <laughs> oh my God, you are completely mad. Right, OK. Can I speak to Sergeant Hollins, please? Help! Get me out! Sergeant, I have been kidnapped by that crazy bat. Uh, She's got me trapped in a car. Uh, yeah, we're on a short cross close. Give me the keys. Get your hands off me! Don't be so violent, you... Oh, Stop it! Oh. I can't keep it here much longer. Please don't hit me! Stop it! I'll say I offered you a lift and you got violent. Who are they going to believe, you or me? When you're a violent thug. <laughs> I never wanted to get old. Shall I see some of them come in with their arthritis and their walking sticks? I don't think I won't want their problems. Now I'm just jealous of them that they reach that age. I found me. What do I think about? I think about their lives. All the things they've seen and done. No, I'm no, I'm never going to get the chance to look back like that. <sighs> you don't know when you're going, none of us do. Well, I know it's going to be sooner than I want it to be. Oh, come on. Why? Why didn't I do more with my life? I know it seems I'm running out of time. Miss Lomax, have you any idea what you sound like and what you look like? Have you looked in the mirror oh, well, recently? Oh, yeah, I am looking in the mirror and there's a police car just pulled up, so what? we'll see. Oh, yeah. what? Oh, get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Both of you, calm down. Oh, thank heavens. I kept her here as long as I could. Sarge, you've got to believe me. Come on. Enough. Miss Percyfield? Why, why does she get to go first? Oh, thank you. I did as you said. I was being neighbourly. I was driving her to the police station when she got violent, aggressive. It's been awful. Oh, oh why? Do you know what? I wish oh. I had a belt of Gina. Oh. Shh. Thank you for saving me, Sergeant. I'm not here to save you. You what? see, Miss Lomax didn't hang up her phone properly, so I heard everything. You must have misheard. No, I didn't, so I'm arresting you for false imprisonment, for making malicious complaints and wasting police time. What? You do not have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you don't mention one question, <sighs> something you later rely on in court. Anything you do say may be given in evidence. Oh, take, what? It, take what? it away. What? Oh, you... Oh, I shall bring the chief constable. I shall be on the phone immediately. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a ridiculous story in my life. That man should suck him. Suck that man. He's a terrible... Right. Yeah, yeah, she didn't touch me. And I'll sort it with the station about you reporting today. Maybe you can do it tomorrow. Oh, sure, thank you. How did the interview at Rackley's go? 
Yeah, sorted. I, I got the job. And you don't take any old rubbish, you know. Hmm. <laughs> There's got to be something we can do. You can't just give up. Well, it's about waiting now. Oh, no, stop it. No, and I really have to face this on my own. Well, I'm not going anywhere. We're in this together. You really are a very kind man, Barry Bigelow. You know, though. Might be some big adventure for you, waiting just around the corner. What, in Leatherbridge? <laughs> yeah. Who knows what amazing thing will happen? Like what? Amazing things never happened. <laughs> Barry. What are you doing? <clears throat> Barry. Valerie Pittman, would you do me the honour of becoming my wife? I do want to get married. To Valerie. And she is... Um, Bonkers. A very unique individual. I warned you, it's the only way. You can't win right now. She doesn't look like the American. Valerie, this is huge. It's a big commitment. You need to be sure 